And I know what you see in me You see the truth, see the me in me You see enough to believe in me You see your son, but it's he in me With the road in light, with the slang is engraved with the slave my language in the streets of bay with the pain of slave ships. Still I submit to it, falling stiff to it. How can I never get a fit to it? I see heaven at the end, I'm trying to get to it. Scared to get lost and I admit to it, so I stick to it. This routine, me and my constituents got a down bag so we can live to it. With no love, no heart, not a glimpse of it. Rules cover the religion, hold it into me. Think if we did back, but we hinder it. It's ironic the way that we cling to it. Hold the fountain, you wouldn't have slipped from it. Like styles of the young and the ignorant. Insolent. Why do we think I'm so high? Inconsiderate. Neither me, myself, or I can help the fact that won't survive. It's been held back by the hand of God. When we sit there, throne is made of life. My name is Quang, uh, also known as uh, Quangstar. That's my tag name. Mm, little intro, but my name's Alex. <coughs> um, uh, my name's also Alex, but people around here call me Chain. It's Cindy, and I just go by Cindy. <laughs> But Cindy with the S. Okay, so my name's Laura. I'm one of the apprentices here. Uh, anything not healthy. Maybe a bite of chicken. Um, Japanese food and burgers. It's probably like takeaway food, so like KFC or Macca's. <laughs> I love burgers. I love Mexican food. Burgers are great. I love them. Um, yeah, probably black. Pretty boring, but to be black. <laughs> black. Hey, because it's very simple. <laughs> it's probably black and white. <laughs> Favorite color? I love purple. I'm also a sucker for pink. I'm a very girly girl. I'll put maybe uh, trap. Music, yeah. um, I don't love listening to Bob Marley. Oh, I actually listen to a lot of Adele. I like pretty much anything, but my genre of choice would either be hard style or heavy metal. Um, I like R&B, but I've started to like, um, you know, like Red Hot Chili Peppers. Um, you can't go wrong with R&B, hip hop. Anything you can dance to really during work. Oh, this is gonna yeah, sound really weird. Will, um, weird. I love Bob Marley. I'm unorganized. Really? Yeah, I, I'm very unorganized. I leave my work to like the last minute to kind of prep. You can probably ask my wife. <laughs> Maybe being a bit too perfectionist, a bit of a perfectionist sometimes. To leave shit to the really last minute, I procrastinate hard. Probably biting my nails when I'm nervous. <laughs> um, I tend to drop things. My room's pretty messy. <laughs> Thanks, sir. Or oh, grumpy, I guess. Everyone thinks I'm grumpy around here. Uh, white chocolate. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's that's a <laughs> nah, no nickname. Diva. Diva. Yeah. Diva. Mariah. Alex. Right. Only came to this shop. Mm -hmm. See? Princess. See? Princess. Casanova. Ladies man. Casanova ladies man. Geisha. Yeah, Geisha's one. Um, no, I have never been given a nickname before. Don't, don't have a nickname. Um, a lot of my friends call me Lor um, Lorita. Um, because of my hair, everyone calls me Shaniqua. <laughs> I get Shaniqua and Shanene a lot now. Yeah, or sometimes the guys call me Princess. Maybe a little bit of a, uh, digital painting, maybe? I used to play a bit of basketball growing up and stuff. Um, and then I fractured my finger and so I stopped playing basketball. Yeah, I, I like to eat. I really Not really. Um be going out, um, partying. 
I definitely feel like I'm a, a bit of a foodie, but um, a big hobby is like I spend a lot of time with my dog. We, uh, me and my boyfriend rescued a dog. Um, he's an American Staffy, and we just spend so much time with him. We go, we go for walks and stuff all the time. Like I could be out with him for hours. Yeah, black and grey realism oriental. So we kind of like enjoy doing black and grey, anything realistic. Um, if I can catch some script in now, I'll do it. Um, I'm mostly like oriental. Anything got to do with Japanese or anything? It's traditional Japanese. Um, yeah. 110%. I can be a bit of a, a uh, perfectionist like that sometimes. A good fucking time, no. <laughs> I don't know, they can expect a concert, that's for sure. A fucking Adele concert, a bit of Tupac singing. No, I just like, I don't know, just try to make you feel comfortable, I guess. Big pants off Friday. Oh, yeah, it's a very good time. Better than that. All right, just give him giving them my 100% in what I do, I guess. I like to think I'm very like welcoming and warm and bubbly. Well, I like to think I like to make people comfortable. That's it. Um, Shige, um, a very famous Japanese artist, one of the biggest influence when it comes to Oriental. Um, probably the guys in the shop, man, like, um, my biggest influences since I started is the guys here. Um, been, I guess they kind of taught me, um, you know, if you want it, you you got to work hard. Yeah. Artists out there like um, Chris Showstopper, Rod let's see. Well, obviously all the guys, like they're very inspiring to me. Iliana Rose. Oh my gosh, she's like my idol, and the guys like introduced me to her. Like, that is amazing. Like, I've what, like, I've followed her for ages, and just her Mandela, her Mandela stuff and her line work is amazing. I just try and get better, you know. Like, I don't think there is an end goal as far as skill set goes, because there's always going to be room for improvement. Um, but other than that, um, my biggest goal is. Um, being able to be a good provider for my family. I think anybody that's had it is pretty blessed to do what we do, so just like yeah, just keep doing what I love and try to get better at it, I guess, as I go. Be original with what I do and you know, hopefully I get internationally recognized. Um, I definitely just wanna be a well established, well recognized tattoo artist. Otherwise the competition's too fierce these days. There's, there's, there's great artists popping up left, right, and centre. And um, yeah, if you don't, if you don't love your work, it's gonna show through in your work, and you're not gonna, you're gonna um, survive long in the game, you know. A 24/7, 365 job. You don't get to switch off. Well, you can if you want to, but you might not get too good at it. It's not like sex, drugs and rock and roll. <laughs> it's probably like the most kind of maybe um, misconception. Of course, it's not about being cool, it's not just being passionate about delivering art to skin and just contribute to the industry as well. Because you don't really, you, know, you don't have time to really do anything else, but you know, because you're always thinking about tattooing, about your designs. Um, the truth is, I think with all of us, we can't stop thinking about work. Um, if you're passionate about it, and just pursue it. Um, keep drawing, draw as much as you can. Talk to people. There's so much information out there. Uh, I guess if like anything, if you really want it, you make it happen one way or another. It's not easy. It's not supposed to be easy. Um, you pop a lot of shit as an apprentice. Like if they tell you to scrub the toilets or um, mop the floor, 
that's what you gotta do. But the payout is really good because that one was a really cool view. I say go for it and um and yeah, work as hard as you can and you know you'll achieve you'll achieve what you want to achieve if you put enough effort and hard work into it. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> I'd say bite the bullet, get yourself in there, because it took me a long time to get get myself like have the guts to even bring in my portfolio. I, I, I'm driven by inspiration, not not competition. So um, that that's how I uh, look at my career. You know, I, I, I let people's other people's great work inspire me. Not not you know um, not not as competition, but inspiration. Spartans! What is your profession? <laughs> This is my time!